Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, let's look at uh, how to understand um, um, ways of measuring uh, volatility in an equity instrument, be it a stock or a mutual fund. Uh, these are the annual returns of ICICI Top 100 mutual fund. You may remember, uh, those of you who have seen the uh, video on CAGR, you may remember that I use this. So let's use the same. So these are the annual returns from 2003 to 2014. Now, um, the green line represents the arithmetic average. Uh, you may recall that the CAGR represents the so-called geometric average. The, uh, this is just the arithmetic average, the usual average that we are all used to, uh, where you add up all the 12 returns and divide by 12. So that's the green line. Uh, notice that some returns are above this green line and some up below. Suppose I measure how much each return is above or below the average. So those are the uh, blue arrows. Some arrows point up, which are that that is it's a positive deviation. Some arrows point down, so it's a negative deviation. Now, uh, suppose I go on and calculate the average of these deviations. Now the green line represents the average of the returns. That is the red dots. The blue arrows represents the deviations of each return from the uh, average. Now, suppose I calculate the average of those deviations. Some are positive, some are negative. So I define my average in a way that is always positive, and that's called the standard deviation. So the standard deviation is the average of deviations from the uh, arithmetic mean. Now, so that's the average, the green line, that is 29.3. And the standard deviation represents the average of all these uh, uh, deviations, the up arrows and the down arrows. Now, uh, the standard deviation is the simplest way of calculating how much uh, individual returns can deviate from the average. But if you want to use that for predicting uh, future returns, then it's a simplistic uh, uh, metric. It's not good for predicting because uh, uh, you, you need certain conditions to be met before you can use the standard deviation uh, in a serious way. But just to get an idea of how much uh, returns in equity can fluctuate, a standard deviation is good enough. It is simple, but also simplistic. So uh, be careful before using it for predicting, but it's good enough for getting an idea of how much uh, returns can deviate. Now, how do you use this? Now, let's say that that uh, vertical line represents the average. Now, I write down the standard deviation in this fashion. So I say my the vertical line is the average and the arrows represent how much the actual returns can deviate from this average. So that's the uncertainty that box represents the uncertainty in the value of the uh, past returns now we assume that this uncertainty will prevail in future as well the future will be at least as uncertain as the past now let's take another uh, uh, average and this time the standard deviation is so large that you have a wider spread in possible returns and therefore the uncertainty associated with this average is much higher. Uh, therefore, uh, uh, to sum up, a small standard deviation means the volatility is small, the uncertainty of expectation is less. Typically, this can be uh, uh, a debt mutual fund where the standard deviations are small. Whereas for equity, the standard deviation would be large, which means that the volatility is large and the uncertainty of expectation is also large. We will use the standard deviation in a future video to understand how much equity uh, returns can uh, fluctuate for different uh, intervals of time. See you in another video. Bye-bye.